Hello, today I was told to unbox this Bluetooth stereo receiver and transmitter two in one. You know that's a good one's two in one. I I don't really know, but I feel like something's gonna attack me while I do this. I don't know, the box is good, so usually when the box is good, you know the product's good because they could spend that extra money on the box. I don't know. Okay. Instructions, we don't need those. Uh, okay. That's interesting. I don't want to break anything. What's it? Bluetooth receiver entries. So I guess it receives something from something that does Bluetooth and then does something else. Yeah? <laughs> There's a lot of directions and such. Alright, so I got this all unboxed and I'm just gonna show you a little bit about setting up. We needed to charge it first and it comes with a USB charger which is really nice so you don't have to go out and get one but it looks like a standard one for a phone it's cool okay so we got everything unboxed and settled and now i know what this is so basically well first of all it comes with a charging little usb thing which is really nice so you don't have to go and get one that you previously have so you have this and there's an rca thing if your speaker takes that and then there's a normal aux cord smallest aux cord i've ever seen and you plug it in this, and then you get your speaker, right? And then you plug it in your speaker, and you turn this on. There we go. And you can play your tunes. All right, so right now it's flashing red and blue. When it's charging, it's just red, but right now that means it's not connected to anything, so we're gonna try to hook it up to his phone, and then... So if you're familiar with Bluetooth stuff, then you just go into your Bluetooth settings, and connect to the BTI 018, which is what ours called, I don't know. And it's pairing. It beeped, so that means it's good. That's pretty awesome. So basically, what you get here is for $20, I think, around there, you get a Bluetooth speaker because Bluetooth speakers are usually pretty expensive and this gives you a cheap alternative. So you can just get some old dinky speaker. This one's really small, so this would be awesome. And you just plug it in and you're good to go. That's cool. So now, I'll show you the other application for it. Let's unplug that. So, this has a uh, input and output kind of thing. So. Why would you use that, you ask? And it's because if your phone does not do Bluetooth, which mine does not, you could plug it in to that, and then you can transmit it to a Bluetooth speaker you already own, and then you're all good to go. It says here to use the transmitter on the Bluetooth device pairing. Uh, you need to make sure that the protocol of your Bluetooth device supports A2DP Bluetooth music receiver. That's a good gizmo though. That's like really sweet. 